Hey everyone, welcome to Practically, we bring learning alive. In this video, we'll be talking about the recent images sent by James Webb Space Telescope. Now, let us focus on the ability of the James Webb Space Telescope to produce such highly detailed and scientific quality images which can be attributed to its highly effective and efficient design and construction, which is definitely a wonder of engineering. You might be aware from your school science that a telescope is an optical instrument that uses lenses, curved mirrors or a combination of both to observe distant objects. It has an objective that can be a lens or a curved mirror facing the distant object and an eyepiece which is close to the eye. So we have two types of telescopes, a refracting telescope and a reflecting telescope. So the type of optical telescope which uses lens as its objective is called a refracting telescope and that uses a mirror as its objective is called a reflecting telescope. The modern telescope like the James Webb Space Telescope in order to be free from any kind of chromatic aberrations or color distortions which happen in the case of lenses use concave mirror instead of a lens as its objective. Also, the mirrors has many other advantages over the lenses, such as the mechanical support is less of a problem in case of mirrors. Also, for an optical telescope to produce highly detailed and high resolution images, it must have a large light gathering power and a high resolving or resolution power which depend upon the area or diameter of its objective. So the desirable aim in constructing an optical telescope is to have an objective of large diameter, which is the case with James Webb Space Telescope, which is designed in such a way that its light collecting area is six times that of its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. So, these are the principles from our school science that have been applied to produce high resolution images from James Webb Space Telescope that are free from any kind of optical aberrations or deviations. So as we have discussed that we have two types of telescopes, a refracting telescope and a reflecting telescope where the reflecting telescope has major advantages over refracting telescope. So our James Webb telescope is a reflecting telescope having three mirrors. The first mirror is the primary mirror which is concave. The second mirror is the secondary mirror which is convex. And we have a third mirror which is known as the tertiary mirror which is to allow for a wider field of view and also to remove any kind of optical aberrations. Webb's primary mirror consists of 18 hexagonal mirror segments that are made of gold-plated beryllium, which combined create a 6.5 meters diameter as compared to the Hubble's 2.4 meters. This gives James Webb Space Telescope a light collecting area of 25 square meters that is six times that of Hubble's. So it is the biggest and the most sensitive mirror ever sent into space. The gold plating is done to improve the reflection of infrared light and the reason behind the use of beryllium is due to it both being lightweight and strong at the same time. And also beryllium is good 
at holding its shape across a wide range of temperatures. So, James Webb Space Telescope is truly a marvel and a symbol of the scientific progress that the humanity has made. With the recent images, it has sent a dawn of new era in astronomy has surely begun. Bring learning alive practically.